Based on the feedback, I decided to update benchmark between Nginx and HA proxy. In this video, we'll run three tests instead of one. I think the most common complaint was that I enabled compression on Nginx side, and HA proxy does not use it by default. In the first test, we'll just compare Nginx with compression versus Nginx without compression side by side to see if it affects latency or CPU usage. In the second test, we'll compare Nginx and HA proxy using plain HTTP 1.1 protocol from the client side. And finally, in the third test, we'll repeat it but with HTTPS enabled and HTTP 2 protocol. Additionally, for each proxy, I use two instances and monitor CPU usage as well. I run all my tests in NVS. And as you can see, for the first test and all following tests, I used M7A large instance types for the proxies and and for the backend applications. All right, let's go ahead and run the test. We have latency measured from the client side using P90 percentile. Then we have throughput in requests per second, CPU usage for both proxies, network traffic transmitted from the proxy to the client, which is important metric in this test since we compare Nginx with compression to Nginx without compression, then availability or error rate, and finally CPU usage of the applications behind the proxies. Well, you can clearly see that when you enable compression on Nginx, it increases latency and Nginx consumes more CPU. Also, we have less traffic transmitted to the client, and based on your specific use case, this may be very important. For example, in NBS, you would get charged for data transfer between different availability zones, and if you enable compression, you could reduce the monthly NBS bill. Let me run this test for one more minute, and I'll go over each graph one by one. The entire test took around one hour. First, we have throughput, and when you enable TLS, the throughput is significantly reduced for Nginx. Next, we have latency, and lower latency is better. As you would expect, without compression, you get better latency since Nginx does not spend time compressing your responses. Next, we have CPU usage, and it always starts to fail at around 80%, no matter how many requests per second it handles, and you'll see this in the second test. Network traffic, availability, and finally CPU usage of the applications. So to conclude with compression, you get a smaller payload but higher latency and CPU usage. Now let me run the second test between Nginx and HA proxy, this time using plain HTTP protocol. We should get higher throughput in this case. By the way, you can find the source code for this test in my public GitHub repo. Let me run this test again for one more minute. It took around 3 hours to complete. First, we have throughput. Nginx reached around 72,000 requests per second, 
and HA proxy just a little bit more, around 75,000. Next, we have latency. And without compression, Nginx actually performs better with lower latency. Then we have CPU usage. And once again, Nginx starts to degrade at around 80%. If you know what's going on, please tell me. It's very consistent and it has nothing to do with open file descriptors because it can handle around 72,000 requests per second in this test and fails at the same time in the previous test with way less traffic because we have TLS enabled. Network usage. Availability. And finally, CPU usage of the applications. Without TLS, these two proxies show very similar results, except that Nginx for some reason starts to fail at around 80%, which reduces throughput. So if you can help me to resolve this, I'll definitely rerun the test and explain the reason for this. In the final third test, we'll use HTTPS and HTTP2 protocol, and it's exactly the same test as in the previous video, but this time I disabled compression on Nginx. Alright, let me run this test for one more minute. This time it took almost 4 hours to complete this test. I tried to slowly increase the load to not fail Nginx earlier, but what I noticed is that if I run the test for 4 hours, Nginx actually fails earlier at around 65-75%. to 75%. If I run it for only 1 hour, Nginx fails later at around 80-85%. to 85%. Maybe there is something there, maybe not. But again, there is a huge difference in throughput between Nginx and HA proxy when you enable TLS. Please help me figure this out. Next, we have latency. Well, Nginx actually performed better than HA proxy until it starts to fail. Next, we have CPU usage. As you can see, it took 1 hour to reach 65% and then it triggered Nginx. Next, we have network traffic, which is very similar. Availability. And finally, CPU usage. So, when you enable TLS on Nginx and compare it with HA proxy, it's not even close. I hope someone from Nginx community can help improve it, and I'll rerun the test. Also, in the next video, I'll compare Nginx versus HA proxy and GRASS controllers with mostly default settings.